In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add digital watermarks to your photos in Photostack. Placing a copyright watermark on a photo is a great way of protecting it from unauthorised use by identifying the creator of the photo and indicating ownership. However, you don't have to have formal copyright to protect your photos. There is a range of creative watermarks, symbols and captions available and we'll look at applying these now. In Photostack, you can quickly add a watermark to your photos as you prepare to share them. For more information, see the Sharing Your Photos video tutorial. To begin, select the photo you want to add a watermark to and then click Share above your workspace to access the Share dialog. You can add watermarks to your photos regardless of the sharing options you choose. In the Presets tab, there are a range of watermark presets which can be applied to photos with a single click. If I click Export Images and scroll down the Presets tab, you can see that there is a dedicated watermarks category. Select a preset to see what it looks like when applied to your photo in the preview pane. One of the presets is called Website. If you select this, you can see that it uses a placeholder website address. In Photostack, it's easy to customise a preset watermark, or even create your own. First, I'll show you how to edit the placeholder website address. Click the Custom tab next to the Preset tab. You can see the watermark I selected has appeared in the Watermarks Use list on the right. Use the Add and Remove buttons to change which watermark is in use if you want to. Multiple watermarks can be applied if required. To customise the preset watermark, first click Edit Watermarks and then select your chosen preset from the list on the left. In the Text section, ensure Text is enabled and then replace the placeholder text in the field. Feel free to customise your watermark even further by applying text attributes and effects, changing the colour or adding symbols. As we created a custom watermark, we'll need to save it before we can apply it to photos. At the bottom left of the dialog, click Create and then give your new watermark a name. Then click OK. In the list on the left, select your watermark and then click Close to exit the dialog. Now we need to add the watermark to the watermark to use list. To do this, make sure it's selected in the list on the left, then click Add. I don't need the website one, so I'll select it and click Remove. As you can see, the watermark has now appeared on the photo in the preview pane. You can then continue sharing your photos with normal. You can customise any of the watermarks using this technique. The best thing to do is experiment and see what works best on your photos. Before we finish, I'll quickly demonstrate how to apply an image as a watermark. In this example, I'll use a company logo. As you can see, I've selected a different photo and opened it in the Share dialog. As before, I'll click the Custom tab and expand the Watermark section. Then, I'll click Edit Watermarks. Expand the Image section and enable Image. Click the Browse button and navigate to the image you want to use. Then, select it and click Open. Before we edit the watermark any further, let's save it for further use, like we did earlier. If you can see any text-based watermarks in the preview, you might want to remove these via the text section of the dialog. The image watermark has appeared in the preview, but it's too large. I'll make it smaller by dragging the scale slider. Alternatively, type a percentage size in the box. To help the watermark blend in, I'll decrease the opacity, which controls the transparency of the image. Finally, choose where you want the watermark to be positioned in relation to the image. Do this by selecting a dark square in the layout section. The preview will show you where the watermark will be placed. You can also choose to scale the watermark with the image. When you're happy, click Save and close the dialog. Finally, select your watermark and add it to the watermark to use list. In the preview pane, you can see how the watermark looks when applied to your photo. If you need to make any further changes, 
simply return to the Edit Watermarks dialog. Well, that's it for this tutorial. To find out more about Photostat, see the Learning Assistant. Thanks for watching.